yes and no because Joomla takes care about uh, the, the Ceph URLs and uh, we as developers we use the Joomla classes like the JRoot one and uh, and Joomla takes care uh, take, takes care about it so it will transform it in the backend for the for the user so it is not a problem for for you yes Gelly it uh, Ceph URLs hides hides the uh, the component name out uh, from the outside world and the next important thing is that it is good for search engines. Uh, a search engine will rate higher a website that has friendly URLs than a website that has a cryptic URLs like index PHP and option equals uh, something. And uh, think like this if a human sees a friendly URL, URL, he will understand it. If a human sees a cryptic URL, then he will not understand it. Okay. Any more questions? Well, I'm not doing something with the sound, it's dim dim that is transferring the sound further. What about it? What about the article ID? Um, yes and no. There is no way to remove the article ID using the default Joomla uh, sef settings, but you can install a component like uh, sh404 sef and it is able to remove the ID of the article and so at the end you have only um, characters in the in the URL. Well, there is open Ceph and another uh, extensions that can uh, make uh, friendly URLs, URLs uh, look better and 400 Ceph is one of the best one. Well, I don't for me, when I tried 404 Ceph uh, for last time, it was working out of the box. I just click it on enable and then it was running. Well, Im think about this like uh, if you give 20 bucks for something that is doing the job, then you save yourself uh, what five hours of work to find a, a free extension to configure this free extension and make sure that, that this free extension works. Yeah, exactly. It's worth every penny. And this is the case with a lot of extensions. Guys, think about it like this. Free is good. Free, free is not bad. But free doesn't mean quality. If you are making a website, you should consider the time that you are putting in it. So if, if you pay 20, 20 bucks for something and you save Mm, 10 hours then you at the end you've won something so uh, commercial is not bad okay ne uh, next point different types of extensions as you know with Joomla you have um, well Joomla command has a free support um, as you know, Joomla has three types, three main types of uh, extensions. This is the component, modules, and plugins. Um, I believe this is the most the, the, the most difficult part of uh, Joomla, understanding uh, which uh, what is a component, what is a module, and what is a plugin. A component can be displayed only on one place. In our case here, you see the front page view of the com content and it is displayed in this part. Imagine that this is the this is the component. All those boxes on the left, on the right, here above, this menu here and this thing here that are all modules. Modules just display information on a specific place on your website. You can put the modules on the left, on the right, somewhere else, etc. But the component is just has only one place in your template. Um, I've said it before and I will show it to you again if you write and 
TP1 to any Joomla web page, you will see this um, the page is overlaid with some information and the thing that has no overlay is the component here comes the output from the component and on the left side you see the, the modules this is our module position and this is our module position and this are our module positions uh, oh, let's look like this tp equals one so if you have an index dot php index dot php index dot php then write this so and then you will see all the module positions and what are plugins plugins are specific small codes that render the page for example you can uh, you can use You've seen probably plugins when you uh, make a new element, when you make a new article. So, if you write some text, we will write some text here. So, and if I say uh, read more, then I've already used the plugin. When I save the page, let us write the test. Save it to uncategorize and publish it to the front end. Then here's my new article, and at the bottom you will see read more. What our, we have a plugin at, at the, in the back end that is called read more, and what this plugin does, it is parsing all the output from Joomla and it looks for, for specific tags in your content. And when when the plugin finds them, then he replaces it, replace them with something like a link in this case. So plugins can make a lot of different uh, a lot of things like when they parse the page, then they can remove something from it. Uh, for example, the friendly URLs are also done with a plugin. What Joomla does, it parses the content of the page, and then when it finds a uh, URL like uh, index.php and it replaces it with a friendly one. Uh, any questions so far about uh, components, module, and plugins? Because we are coming to pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, then what's your question? Do you want a microphone? Mm, no, I haven't heard of such a component. But uh, perhaps you can look at jvitals.com. They have a new extension that is called uh, what's the name of it? J Social Suite. And what it does, it is a social extension and it gives you the uh, possibility to have a personal page for every user. Uh, if you go to the backend of Joomla to extensions, install, uninstall and then go to the plugin manager for example, you will see that you are unable to install, to uninstall uh, some uh, important plugins for Joomla.